Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious yet very simple roasted red pepper and garlic pasta. This recipe is perfect for the fall season and it is so easy to whip up and is made with very simple ingredients. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is prepare our veggies. I'm cutting up three large red peppers in half and then removing the seeds. If you don't have large peppers, you can also use four medium sized ones or five small red peppers. The entire written recipe is going to be available on my blog and you can find a link to that in the description box below so make sure to click that to check it out. Once you've cut up the peppers, you're going to set that aside and then we're going to cut two medium sized onions in half. And then we're going to cut one large onion into about quarters and then we're going to place all of these veggies into a lined baking tray like this and then we're going to drizzle that with some olive oil. Now you can use already roasted peppers from the jar but I like to roast mine so it gives the best flavor. I forgot to mention that you have to add some cloves of garlic at this point as well. I'm using about 6 to 7 but you can adjust the quantity to how much you'd like. I'm adding on some olive oil and then we're going to pop this into an oven preheated at 160 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the skin is nice and charred. Once that's fully baked, you're going to take that out of the oven, let it cool down, and this step is optional, but you can also remove the skin. I like to remove just like the big chunks and then leave the rest on that are a little bit difficult to take out. I'm going to add all these roasted and cooled vegetables into a blender. You can also use a food processor and then blend this into a smooth paste. If needed, you can add about a quarter cup of water to make it easier to process this into a smooth paste. Your paste should look something like this, nice and smooth with no large chunks. Now let's move on to the next step. In a large saucepan, you're going to add some unsalted butter and we're going to melt this on medium-high flame. Once the butter is fully melted, you're going to go ahead and add in the red pepper and garlic paste from earlier and let that cook for another 3-4 to four minutes. You can substitute the butter for some more olive oil if you'd like. That's been cooking for a while, next I'm going to add in some heavy cream and then give that a mix. This is going to make the pasta super rich and creamy. You can use cream of any fat percentage. Next goes in the spices. I'm using paprika, some chili flakes, some salt, and pepper. You can use other spices like dried oregano or even dried basil, but I'm not going to be using that today. Give that a good mix and now we're going to let this cook for another 2-3 to three minutes. While you make your pasta sauce, make sure to cook and boil all of your pasta as well. Now, before we finish this, we're going to add in some cheese and chopped parsley and give that a mix. I use mozzarella because I didn't have any parmesan cheese on hand, but if you have parmesan, you should definitely use that. Give that a mix, you're going to turn off the flame and then add in your boiled pasta. I'm using rigatoni, but you can use any type of pasta you'd like, even noodles would work perfect for this sauce. Give that a good mix and the pasta is ready to go. Just look at how creamy and delicious this looks. I cannot wait to dig in. Make sure to serve it with some more parmesan or mozzarella and some more chopped parsley. And there you have it, a very quick, simple, and delicious pasta recipe that you can make anytime. It is perfect for when you're very busy but you still want to cook up something amazing for dinner or lunch. It is so simple, it's made with simple ingredients and you can adjust the veggies and even add in protein if you'd like. It has such a strong and amazing red pepper and garlic taste. You are going to absolutely love this. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes just like this one. Like the video if you liked it and comment down below if you tried this recipe recipe or if there's anything else you'd like me to make and as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.